I'm Tony, thank you. A project is starting this week in Flagler Beach, extending part of the existing beach and rebuilding its dunes. West Chew's Pamela Combs spoke with one local leader who says this will better protect nearby homes and businesses. Equipment is making its way onto one of Flagler's beaches. While for some it's a bit of an eyesore, homeowner Andrea Ferguson knows it's here to make a positive change. We're fascinated by it. We want to see what the process of, of refurbishing the beach looks like. The $27 million federally funded project will rebuild the beach's dunes and extend the shoreline. Machinery that will be staged about 12 miles out will vacuum sand off the ocean floor and eventually it will be pumped right here onto the beach. Once the project is complete, the beach will look like it did a decade ago. I have pictures of it where it's at least another 100 feet wider than it is now, even at, even at high tide. Flagler County Emergency Management Director Jonathan Lord says there's more to this project than creating towel space for visitors. It protects infrastructure, protects roadways like A1A and underneath those roadways are pipes and electrical systems and fiber networks. So all of that stuff is very important to keep our community running. With the forecast calling for an active hurricane season, this massive project gives them hope everything will be all right. It does help reassure our community that, that we're ready to deal with whatever may come our way. If a hurricane does come or severe weather erodes the coast, because it's a federally funded project, FEMA and the Army Corps will make sure the beach gets renourished and coastal dune protection is put back in place. Reporting in Flagler Beach, Pamela Combe, West 2 News. Uh, construction is projected to take about nine months. The weather, though, could impact the amount of time it actually takes to complete.